Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today we're going to be buying that Nurgle which I was talking about, that very expensive Nurgle to be able to do burner missions. So here it is. You can see here, it's going to be quite a bit, but there's a lot of these modules which will be not used at the same time. This is more to adapt to the uh, mission at hand. So we're going to buy all these right here. Boopity boop boop. Buy these. <laughs> now we're going to just wait a little bit. Has it gone through? Yep, it's gone through. Okay, now we're gonna multi fit. Unified Nurgle Burner. And then these items, I think, it could not fit these items because it has something to do with that. You can't, like, put uh, modules into an inventory of a ship. Like, it has to be like, some kind of like support, like ammo or something like that. I just, it just has a bit to do with the way it works. Why are it saying bad fits right here? The CCP does not like my fit apparently. A <laughs> bad fit. <laughs> okay, I think it has something to do with that with glitch. That's why it's saying bad fit. We can see here. Okay, well let's let's give this thing a good name. Uh, steroid Nurgle. I think that'll be good. Steroid Nurgle is gonna be a good name. So we have to put these items in here to have the full shopping list right here. So let's see our centers. This thing. Oh yeah, so it has to do with the cargo is overloaded. Oh, look at that. Look at these, yeah. The cargo is overloaded right there. I wouldn't have expected that, actually. Hmm. Maybe it's the ammo that's taking all the spot. Yeah, a lot of that ammo. Let's remove a lot of this ammo. We can remove some of this ammo right here. Yeah, there we go. We can, that's why it must have said bad fit. So we cheated right there. Do you see that? We had like a full armor. I never knew you could actually do that. The all full cargo hold without actually having to have everything in there. Okay, we don't have enough space for that, so we're gonna have to remove some more ammo. This is tech two ammo is really nice. After I'll bring the rest of the ammo back in a, in a separate ship, like maybe some some aces or something. Snaces is always a really good ship to do these kind of things. So let's say Corelli, A type five MN, a small cap battery. It'll be funny if I just lose this in the first burn emission that would be just so stupid <laughs> now i was actually going to make some small modification to the fit right here because i want to be able to get this to do sub uh, two second align to be able to get to the mission hub a little relatively safe <laughs> so what we're going to do is put this off here and we don't have enough space for this maybe this ah there's too much space not enough space right here hmm. okay let's move a bit, bit more armor right here or oh, ammo not armor ammo with some ammo, with some ammo. There we go. Now we should have enough. So we just take this overdrive, I think. Go put this here. There's 250 space, that's okay. Okay, good, good, good. Now I was gonna put two inertial stabilizers. The reason is because inertial sta two inertial stabilizers is enough for us to get the sub two second align time like this. Exactly, and we've actually got a bit of extra cargo space, 250 right there, so we can put a bit more here. So let's see now. Yes, maybe occult. Occult and put this here. In here and then mystic, the other long range Chiglavi now we can put this back in here. Okay, for some reason we're able to fit this now. It's a bit weird how this works. <laughs> Why is it like that? That's strange. Does I think it has something to do does this like reduce your penalty? Yeah, at expensive cargo capacity. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's why, because I was using these. These make my cargo capacity a bit smaller. So that's why I went able to fit it. I was not wondering, why? Why was I not? Why well, is my cargo capacity bigger now? So we can actually put even more ammo. What's the, all the other Triglavian ammo called? Let's see if we can find it here in our massive stockpile here in the Jita station. And this is more of my like random stuff. I've got a bunch of these like skins not skins the skins are mostly here but uh, modules mostly here let's see if we can find any where is that ammo 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 this is a bunch of triglavi and stuff here there we go there's the ammo grab this put this in here and there's not enough space let's put this one in here okay we can fit some of that ammo. okay there we go now all we're gonna go set destination to the mission system uh, mission system where we can do Burner missions, and I've actually got a nice skin for the Nurgle. Blackfire Steel is my favorite skin for Triglavians right now. I like this silver, it looks really robust, especially with this kind of like uh, this uh, pattern right here. Is, is this even the pattern? 
Yeah, okay, it looks you can see the pattern is there even on the default skin, but it becomes a lot more prominent if you have this silver skin. It looks like a bit like carbon fiber. I think that's really cool. Let's set destination. Okay, there we go. So we've got uh Heora set, and I'm gonna take this Nurgle to the mission hub. So I really I wonder how it's gonna go the first mission. I'm gonna really double and triple check that everything is right before I go into that first burner mission. It will be so annoying to get wrecked in the first mission. But I think we'll uh, pull through. I know that this is a pretty damn OP ship, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with it. Let's see how much cargo capacity are we carrying right here. Drive. Carrying quite a lot of cargo capacity. <laughs> 690 mil. So that obviously, this is not, we're not going to walk around with this. Like, it's true Sancho. This stuff, this is worth so much. We're not going to be walking around with this. You can see here, got the standard Tech 2 webs in here. I think it's just in a specific mission if there's going to be some that maybe i'll need to use one of those items but not all of them but we're going to be pretty tough we're a pretty tough little figure right here i'm going to go and keep going to heora it'll be nice to be able to combine my standard l for machine missioning with burners uh, i really i li really hate having to see them and just turn them down all the time just because of the way you know standard okay. l for missions they give so much worse but they're so much easier to run than burner missions they're so easy the, the loot is just really bad let me just turn the volume a bit down i noticed actually sometimes when you turn the open up in settings like that it actually crashes the game so it was a bit actually stupid of me doing that i wouldn't want to crash when i've got this expensive stuff right here we can keep going the velis and tropic disintegrator i wish i could find a good way to use a nurgle in the abyss and i feel like it would be very good suited for the abyss especially if you use like remote armor repairs but uh, it doesn't seem to be that great just due to range and it's a bit hard to kite extremely well in it. I mean it's possible but it seems to be pretty difficult and also just this in general the ship is so expensive. This hull costs 300 mil so it's very it's a very damn expensive hull just just for one hull 300 mil. A retribution hull costs like 30 mil something like that maybe, maybe 40 mil. Let's see now retribution Retri, where is Retri? 30 mil, yeah? And you see that, 10 Retributions or 1 Nurgle? Which one would you rather have? <laughs> it's uh, quite expensive. The Struglavians, they take big pride in their technology that is so hard to come by. It has a lot to do with it. just this salvage is so hard to come by since the invasion was stopped existing. It was really nice when those Emerging Conduits existed because you could just farm all those, you know, the, the Emerging Conduit anomalies. You could kill the NPCs and you could get all the nice salvage from them, but now, unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. It does not work anymore. It's quite a long way to Heora from Jitim. It's not exactly the closest missioning system, but it's a decent missioning system. It's nice because it's the 0 0.5 and I can do the Galente missions. The Galente missions are pretty good because the LP is nice, it's got a nice ratio there. And it's also just in general, it has an Amar system, so it's good for my Paladin because there's a bit more. Uh, blood raid or Sancho related NPCs there and missions not all the time but there's a bit more like there, I noticed that some missions there's like blood raid NPCs there but if you are in a different region of space it will be for example Garistas or Angels but in this case it's going to be more blood raiders here and that's good because the Paladin is EM damage blood raiders have low EM damage so it's very suited for the Paladin and that's really I really like the Bargus the one I use to blitz missions it doesn't really matter so much there because the Bargus has bonuses to every single missile type so I can just switch ammo depending on missile types it's really nice to be able to do that that's actually something i really like about the golem you know the l4 uh, well not the l4 but it's a very good l4 missioning ship the marauder the golem marauder is the caldari marauder if i go here golem rolem rolem with the golem this ship right here it's uh, pretty damn good because it has bonuses to basically every missile so it's not like you're locked to kinetic or locked to em or something like that you can do every damage type so that's really nice and it's just an extremely tanky ship so yeah, i mean i could use my pod because i can use my crystal implant pod in that and i could have very good <laughs> shield boosting capabilities now that'll be a very nice uh, ship to use the only thing is the paladin is pretty good because first of all i think the paladin is good second of all like really good i really like the look of the paladin and second of all the paladin has a bit more dps than the golem and also when it comes to applying on small stuff like frigates if you're at distance with the paladin then you'll often be able to one shot them because of how the pal if you're just got enough good transversal then you'll be able to just shoot straight away the golem it doesn't matter how far away you are it's still going to apply just as good uh, it's just really the absolute velocity so it doesn't really matter if you're really far away really close away you're going to apply just as bad or just as good 
However, the golem does have a pretty good bonus to its uh, target painters. We go here. That's how it is able to actually apply all this damage because it's got very big bonuses to target painter effectiveness. So if you carry two target painters, you're going to be applying pretty good DPS, and you could put like probably the precision cruise missile launchers, and you'll probably apply pretty good. I'm definitely considering maybe getting this. In the, I don't think getting this in the future. I'm, I don't. I'm 100 sure right now, but uh, it feels definitely like a really cool ship to have alongside my paladin and bargus it seems like a very tough little marauder or not little it's actually quite a big marauder actually it is no it's quite little actually 875 meters the paladin is like 1.5 kilometers long so it is actually quite small compared to the paladin so it is a little marauder <laughs> mm -hmm. these are marauders so damn expensive 1.5 bill for the hull five nurgles though could be more and marauder so when it comes to just a frigate maybe it's not that expensive <laughs> or this frigate right here <laughs> Just look at this Nurgle, it's got like these energy beams between these like prongs right here when it warps, it's a special thing. I don't think these exist when you're in like normal flight. Let's see if it disappears when we go now. Because when we exit warp, it should... Yeah, you see that disappearing right there? It's pretty cool, it's got a lot of advanced animations with this Nurgle right here. It'd be so cool to see how this turns out in the burner missions. <laughs> That's just a few more jumps until we are there. I don't plan on testing out some burn emissions right now. We can make our way to here or and just get ourselves set up and then I'll probably test out some burn emissions in the next video. Okay, there we go. Docked up. Docked up into the system of Heora. So now it's time to talk some to some security agents and see what kind of burn emissions I get. See here there's a bunch of these standard missions, so I'll have to grind for you a couple of standard missions before I get to the burner missions but that's all we'll be doing next time some burner missions or maybe some standard delfo missions if that's what it takes to get to some burner missions hope you guys enjoyed this little video here I just wanted to really show off this big moment because I've never bought a frigate this expensive before but hopefully it pays off and <laughs> if it does I'll be really happy if it doesn't I'll at least I tried. At least I've tried doing burn emissions because I've never done it before. It'll be a first time thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video here. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.